Hi. Hello, hello. Good uh, afternoon. Yes. Yeah. Good yes. afternoon. Welcome to the cookie lunch break. Hi. Hi, Mar. Thanks. Hello. How is it going? Oh, we're surviving. <laughs> surviving. <laughs> surviving. Yeah. Just like everybody else. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. I can't wait to see you tomorrow, <laughs> Julie. You want to go? <laughs> <here? Am> I... <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Just spaced oh, out for a second. Yeah, we are back. I go with Friday, cookie lunch break. Hi, June. Victoria. Hi, June. And today I'm going to be enjoying myself just watching these beautiful ladies decorate and we're going with a really fun theme that we hope you all are going to guess what it is once you see the pictures. Hello, this is Hi, Amber. Yeah. Um, and so Amber is going to do some, I think, airbrushing I saw and some realizing transfers. Mm -hmm. And Marlene is putting a really fun twist on a popular theme paired with Father's Day. So we mm -hmm. hope you're going to enjoy it. And before we jump into, we also have um, all the templates in your coffee shops. Yep, the That's templates right. are... Um, those of you who are not familiar, coffee shop, uh, we call it coffee shop. We haven't figured out what's the correct uh, pronunciation. Coffee, coffee. Um, basically, this is where we um, created shops and we sell our templates. So you guys can grab it for the duration of, is it for the duration for the life or is it for the hours? next 24 hours? 24 hours mm -hmm. at discounted yeah. price. Mm -hmm. So today Amber is um, selling, do you have your, your um... do you have a I picture? Can... I can do a picture. All right. Yeah, I didn't put a picture up. There. Okay, we'll see you later um, in her shop and Marlin as well. So you guys can grab it um, afterwards. But they're up. Okay. Just We didn't yeah. do a screenshot. And also your supply list, right? Yes. You know, supplies list there. Yeah, those are really useful. I find those really, really useful because I don't have to like go anywhere and it's all there. And mm -hmm. it's all it there. The supply lists are PDF files. Yes. With clickable links, so you guys can uh, download those and just see what you need and purchase it as you go. Um, all right. So, oh, and I have in my in my um, coffee shop, I put together a really fun Mother's Day gift idea PDF, so you guys can uh, just grab it and see uh, if there's something that you like um, for your mother or yourself or your grandmother or your sister. Yeah, shop for you. Yeah. I think yeah. 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 I really would love the book for on the pies. She's awesome. The pie book. Oh, yeah, that looks really fun. Yeah that, looks, yeah, that looks really fun. So who is going to go first today? Um, from what I saw, Amber, your project is a little bit more. Why don't you go first, just so that you have plenty of time? I, I okay. I mean, yeah, I did a lot of stuff ahead, but yeah, just in case. Yes. Um, so before I start, I'll just show you um, that I just put a new cookie decorating kit into my Global Belly store. Um, it's a kind of similar to what I'm doing today. Um, this kit comes with the cookie cutters, the piping bags, uh, royal icing mix, cookie mix, food coloring, um, and step-by-step -step instructions so you can make these galaxy cookies um, with these supplies. So that's in my Global Belly store. Um, you know, just globalbelly.com and then search for Sweet Ams and you'll find it. I didn't grab a link there, but that's there in the shop. Um, so today, let's put this in. There we go. I'm going to be showing you how to make this space alien galaxy. Hmm? How is the audio? What? And it, uh, there was like an issue with audio. Oh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, 
So our, yeah, so our theme was going to be Star Wars and Mar did stick to that. Um, I kind of like went a little bit away from that, but it's still, you know, from a galaxy far, far away. So we'll just say that it's kind of Star Wars theme today. Well, the, the thing is, is I, you know, if you, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of the, not, I, I don't, I don't uh, not like it, but I'm not like, you know, one of these super crazy fans. And I think there's all kinds of aliens in the series, right? Yes, yes. He might, have been at the bar. he might have been at the bar there, that bar that they have. Right. Yeah, we'll just go with that. All right. Yeah, I do hear a little bit of an echo on myself. I don't know why that would be happening today and nothing has changed, but. For me, I, I you sound fine. For yeah, me. I, I, hear, I hear it as well a little bit. Mm -hmm. So where are we going to start? Okay, and again, these, um, do I have my coffee? Is the, are these your cardamom cookies? Yeah. Yeah, oh. okay, so those you have also listed in your coffee shop, mm -hmm. recipe for. Mm, so I just posted a link in the comments to my coffee shop. So that's where you're going to find my cookie recipe and icing recipe, the supply list for today's project with all the clickable links um, and the templates for these um, cookies. So I'm yes. going to start out. May the fourth be with you. Yes, that's it. in a few days. What day is that? Tuesday or Wednesday? I mean, April is done. Yeah. So we have our alien template and our star template. And these are in the coffee shop. So I'm just going to, this you just slide under a piece of parchment paper or wax paper. And then I did that ahead of time because those need to dry. So I will just show you my little video clip. <laughs> Yes, Nicole, we hear you. Nobody knows what day is anymore. Mm -hmm. So here I am just piping the uh, royal icing transfers with flood consistency icing. I used Chef Master Neon Bright Green. For this. One of my favorite just, colors. That's yeah, so nice color. Great for Halloween as well. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so I just lit that crust over a little bit and then I filled in the eyes with black. So that's Chef Master Coal Black, also flood consistency. And then I just used my scrub tool to kind of fill that in. These have to dry. Well, I took Mars advice and just airbrushed them when before they dried and that worked totally fine. Like I was scared to do that, but it, it works. Great. I'm also scared to do that. I think I haven't. I haven't tried it yet. I'm always like, okay, she says I can do it. But yeah, I'm, you can I'm do it. Like in yeah. my, it's like I can't cross that bridge or something. Right. <laughs> I know it was scary, but I, I did it. It, it was, was great. I totally can. I think the the trick is not to put too much um, pressure on the trigger, so you don't accidentally like fall yeah. the fall in the icing. Those are really cool. Yeah, and then once they're dry, you just peel them right off. It's somewhere, I had a clip of me airbrushing and I don't know where it went, but, um, and then I also did these little stars, which were, they're super, super delicate. Um, so you do have to be careful and make lots of extras. Um, but I'll I show you how. Those are so many other projects but though. They're so pretty. I, all I see is a gingerbread house with like, tone oh bags. yeah. Um, yeah so you can even like maybe ha like, you know, yeah, there's so many easy. possibilities with the little yeah. stars and everything. Um, so then, hey, Amy. so then we have our little. That's oh, not um, actually, that. Jeremy says that there is a name for this character from Star Wars. Did you know? Oh, that? <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, so it works then. Good. Yes. <laughs> See, I like Nicole's here. In Mar, we trust. Oh, it's like, yeah, oh, this I so on a t-shirt. I totally see this on a t-shirt. In Mar, we trust. Look, look at, it looks really like cool. an emoji. Look at, uh, Amy put the emoji. Look, Amber, it looks oh, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. like an emoji. Mm -hmm. What yeah, a, yeah, what a coincidence, huh? All right. Um, so. the dragon fish tarot. Love your name. Do you have a video to show how to get true black or red icing? Um, I don't have a video, but I have a blog post on that about getting 
making dark colors. Um, so if you go to sweetams.com and search black icing, you'll find it. So that's sweetams.com. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna, I'm using tipless bags today. Tiny scissors there. Tiny little scissors, yeah. <laughs> so I'll just cut all these ahead of time. So this is, um, I'm gonna be using black, blue, purple, and pink. Chef Master colors. And the, the colors are all listed in that supply list in my coffee shop. And can I, well, obviously they're watching you do it here, but she's got her full tutorial on YouTube. Like, like you just published it, right? Yeah, so these are like a little bit different, but basically the same with the tipless bags, the flood consistency icing. So that's that's on my YouTube channel now. Um, and also that, that kit that I posted earlier, that's the video that goes with that kit. So how many colors are you using? Um, I have five oh, bags five. here. <clears throat> I, I'm getting a yeah, nice vibe from this project. A what vibe? A 90s vibe. Yeah, you could oh, do yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. these colors, yes. 90s, totally. So okay. how would you go about coloring all these? Do you have a method that you color, like, because there's, like, blue, pink? Do you, do you start with any particular? Well, I just do them all separately. You could do them all in the same the same uh, container, I suppose, and fill the bags as you go along. Um, but I just colored them separately and then, you know, but you could do, you know, start with your white and then do your pink and then blue and then purple and then black in this all in the same container. Oh wait, I messed up. Forget oh that. Oh my God, she messed up. Forget Bye. that. <laughs> I an air, and there was an air bubble that happened. Yep. All right. <laughs> Forget that happened. So why did you? How? What's what's the messed up part? Of what what happened? I just need a little. I just need a black outline. Oh, okay. I just wow. to the whole cookie. I don't need that. Well, it's because I made you talk, so you kind of get yeah, distracted. Yeah, that's my fault. I take the blame. <laughs> <laughs> I take the blame. Olga, actually, I drink lemon water a lot quite a lot. Um, I don't think it like it's very refreshing, but I don't think it has any health benefits. Like you read online all these health, you know, people are saying, oh, lemon water is going to make you lose weight. It's not. <laughs> uh, believe not me. If you're eating a donut with your lemon water. Else, I would be like Twiggy, you know, like I, I, I drink a lot of <laughs> lemon water. But not for the reason. It was, yeah, I don't know that it cancels other calories going in. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, so this is how you did it. This is cool. So cool. Take two. That's <laughs> right, June. Take two, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want to have kind of a, a bigger area of the white because you want this kind of sort of a glowing effect around the alien's face. So now I'm going to take a little spatula. I'm just using an offset spatula here. And then I'm just going to blend these colors kind of, I'm going to sort of try to do like a spiral motion. Do you have this um, spatula listed also in a tool, tools, PDF? I don't remember if I put this in there. I you, use it, you use it a lot, quite a lot. I've seen, yeah. I've seen you use it quite a lot. I'll have to check on that. To this see is a really neat technique. It really does create the effect. Yeah, I love this. That halo that like you kind of see around a plant. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's fairly, I mean, it's quick. No, it's it's yeah. not. I mean, you know, relatively. Yeah. Yeah, me neither, Julie. I'm not, uh, she, she makes it look easy. Oh, nails, maybe. Do you, have you ever painted your nails, Galaxy? No. Wow. I feel like I'm not as good with nails as I am with icing. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. Um, that's a good um, a good topic, Brenda. That would I would probably do that on a Tuesday with Amy, just because um, 
well, I could do it with the girls, but they're going to be like, I don't know. I don't know who to do it with. Maybe I, it's like silk screen stencils versus stencils. Do you guys have an opinion on the topic? I don't even know about, I don't know anything about silk, silk screen. screen. Those tens, I mean, the silk screen, I only, like I said, I only tried it once. Uh, okay. Stencils, I've tried many times, but not silk screen. Maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, I'll come up with something because it is, a, it's like a kind of a new, um, get, it's gotten more popular. So it is something mm -hmm. to, you know, to address. So I'm wiping my spatula off in between passes so I don't get the colors too like mixed up in there. All right, so it's I think black, black is kind of sand that you would muddy up everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you can uh, put your little guy in the middle. Thank you, Josette. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, Pico. Do you have your camera plugged in? The the audio out? No, the audio is not. Um, this one should be. It's muted, I think. Yeah. I see that it's muted. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be alive without some technical problems. It's always. It's a. It's we do it on purpose, kind of, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so now when you, yesterday, um, I just like dropped the stars in there, but I had a lot of bleeding. Oh. So what I did was I had to put first just um, a dot of white. Oh, that's a good idea. So that that's just. That's a great idea. Out. Yes, remember that for the future, guys. Mm -hmm. You're putting. Um, because these stars, they are fairly thin. It's not like a thick. Right. Um, They're so, so fragile. Okay, so here's our little star, and then I'll just put that. Perfect. Thank you. So this template that, oh, I just broke one. The template has two different sizes of stars. One's like about an inch, and the other one's three quarters of an inch. So they're. So that's where her template is. There was a question. Um, somebody just posted where it was. Where uh, Veronica? I just put Veronica. That up there. Veronica. So the instructions are on the screen. Uh, not the instructions. The the link to the templates. Amber has those in her coffee shop. Yeah. Um, yeah. The instructions are not there yet because I didn't do this tutorial. Um, but the supply list and the templates are there oh yeah june these stars are perfect for christmas fantastic oh yeah yeah so make a bunch of these now and then you'll be ready you could even airbrush the edges with blue or something to make it more like uh you know uh, yeah or coat them in disco dust oh yeah yes. <laughs> okay so now for the stars little stars in the background i'm just gonna sprinkle some non corels do you guys find, uh, Elizabeth is asking that when you put white food color in the icing, it helps for the for the bleeding issues? Um, Han, you have said that before, right? That the, that yes, it, does, it can help. But I, like I always say, a lot of times bleeding is because of the amount of food coloring used. Like if you oversaturate your royal icing mm -hmm. food color, but it, you can you can help by adding some light color if you're experiencing severe bleeding issues, and then um, um, letting the color like we always say, letting the dark colors rest for at least for a couple of hours. I do that overnight actually. Like if I do black, and then I freeze all my dark colors. If I have leftover, I freeze them because then I don't have to um, waste a lot of food coloring, and mm. it's there. Those little dots really add a lot, the little no pareils. Yeah, right? yeah. What a small, right? It's such a small detail, but it kind of elevates the cookie to the next yeah. level. Um, so I don't know if you can see on this one. So this one, I, I just dropped it in, and you can see. Oh, um, barely. Actually, OK, oh. no, this, I did another layer on top, and then it bled through that. Oh, OK. So like, but even so where are you putting it on the wet? 
It was dry on wet. No. Yes, yes, yes. Dry on wet. Dry on wet. <laughs> yeah. So but but the adding, did... adding the, the dot underneath, it helps. It helps a lot. That's a good tip. So just remember to do that little dot before you put on your stars. <laughs> Beautiful, Amber. Thank you. That hexagon shape is so versatile. If you guys are, are, you know, building your collection, that's one of the shapes that's just, you can use it for, it's like, mm -hmm. a, like the plaque that Amber often uses. It's one of those really. Gone. Yeah, it's becoming uh, my favorite uh, shape. I mean, since I it's know, a few years ago. I'm going to try to see if maybe I'm a coin. Okay. Yeah, so this, the hexagon cookie cutter is linked in that supply list in my coffee shop. Yes, Bestagons, Jeremy, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, I think they all, they both have their applications. It's like um, hexagon or candy corn. I think that they're, uh, the candy corn gives you a little bit more light. Now it's missing your sound. Your talking is weird. Is also a very versatile shape. Just check out my 30 creative cookie decorating. Ideas. I don't know what happened, but now you're like, we can't really hear you. What? Oh, What's Debbie, yeah, there? the templates are on Patreon. So if you are already on uh, my, if you're already a member on my Patreon, then you have those templates already. What, what about uh, a scribe tool to do what you did? Yeah, so on the the video I posted earlier this week on YouTube of the galaxy stars, I used the scribe tool instead of the swirling with the um, spatula. And it gives a different look, but it still works. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's like uh, the little nuances. Mm -hmm. but sometimes if you don't have a tool. Let me bring that picture up again so you can see the difference of the so this one was with the scribe tool, so you can see there's like little swirls in there. Yeah. It's not as like blended. Yeah. I love what you did today. Can you hear me okay now? Yes, yeah. yes, much better. Okay. Yeah, I did not. Who said that? Julie, I did not drink all the wine. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Very nice. It's awesome. It's so cool. I have to try, like, yeah, I have to try this this sometime. So I've got the ticker running at the bottom there with the links to the coffee shop for all of us. And again, she has the star and the little head royal icing transfer templates mm -hmm. and all the supplies and everything for the project. So you'll hey, find Cindy. That. So just to address this, um, Cindy, yes, sending stars on Facebook costs uh, something, but uh, you can also help us by uh, buying us coffee or tea or uh, lemon over at uh, coffee.com the shops are running uh, at the bottom um, that way we we get uh, pretty much what uh, we don't get 90 percent, but we get uh, more than we do on facebook because facebook usually keeps like 99 percent of uh, what you guys send yeah so the facebook stars are not really the, the best way but if like, you want to support us yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, they take a big commission of your donation. So yeah. it keeps yes. a good half of what you guys are giving. Whereas on coffee, we get the whole amount. Mm -hmm. So if you want to support the live stream, coffee is the way to go. And we really appreciate it. Yes. It makes the live streams possible. So thank you for everyone that supports us on that on that platform. It's great. And even if you, you know, if you can, that's like just sharing and commenting on the lives yes, is absolutely. also super helpful. Yes, that's absolutely. Great. And those of you who are just joining us, uh, this is your first live watching. We have all the lives stored in the playlist on uh, Facebook. All of our pages have the live tab and you can just check out our previous lives. We cover a lot of topics about cookie decorating, also recipes. And Marlin has also another live that she does with Amy on Tuesday. And they do a lot of fun stuff there as well lots of candies in cookies and, and different uh, different techniques so you guys can yes. check out that uh, mm -hmm. live that's on tuesday and it's and is it also at 1 p.m 
same time, yes. At the same time, so 1 p.m. Eastern time, that's a New York time. Those of you who are in a different time zone, you can look up New York time and there's and, my Oh, and yes, for those of you who are joining us, we are doing a Star Wars theme. So Amber accidentally, I guess, uh, inadvertently <laughs> did a Star Wars character without even knowing it. Yeah. Um, I think Jeremy said it's Dura. Dura is the name of the character. I guess. Oh, the character. It's, also, it's also matching the emoji. And now Marlin, Matt um, combined um, holiday that is coming up, Father's Day, with a Star Wars theme. So Super I just want to answer here. So Julie, sharing gets us in front of your follow, your friends. And so if you have friends that are interested in cookie decorating, well, maybe they'll discover us. So it just widens our visibility sharing. Right. And, and it also so tells the algorithm. It also tells the algorithm that it's a popular. Uh, it's something that people like, and we, you know, it helps us uh, get noticed more. And then, and then commenting. Last Tuesday, uh, Amy had everybody write where they were from. Just asked everybody quickly, please put where you're from in the comments. And and then, like all the comments, everybody was writing quickly, and for some reason, that kind of did a positive thing in the algorithm for the video. So commenting interacting all that's really okay helpful. so what is everyone what did you guys have for breakfast you can write that in the comments <laughs> yeah, tell us what you had for breakfast. What okay, did you so have for breakfast okay quickly what did you have for breakfast mar i yeah. had um my cream of wheat oh of wheat. nice and you amber oatmeal oatmeal nice i had salt boiled eggs great oh we're so healthy aren't we yes yes, yes, yes <laughs> we are <laughs> Uh, coffee, yes, I had coffee too, and I have coffee now, my afternoon coffee. And it's Friday, and maybe I'll have an evening coffee too. Get a little. <laughs> You're getting a little caffeinated. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to start. So uh, I have the supplies, but this is a, a, a necktie and a t shirt. And I kind of wanted to, again, like we buy a lot of cookie cutters that are underutilized, like the tie. This is probably the first time I've ever used it, but I've probably owned it for six years. So it's one of those shapes that it's one of those shapes that we buy. You're like, oh wow, I'm gonna make this and then never use it. So it, it's one of those shapes though that has a lot of room. You could put like guys are often men are often like just big kids, so they still watch cartoons and play video games. So you can do you know like kind of the the cute ties that we get, like the the you know kind of uh, gift you know father's day stuff that we see but you could do it on a cookie and that's what i did here so it's like yoda kind of his silhouette on the tie and uh, one of the things in the coffee shop listing is i actually made some uh tags that say yoda best dad and this oh, is okay. may the fourth be with you so you get the two tags to attach to the cookies and uh this is a t-shirt and here you can see it. I did it with again that pattern. So you oh, can, I love that shirt. That is so neat. So you can use these kind of more, um, you know, like it, it doesn't have to be like a Yoda shape. You know, it can be right. other things and still be cute. And this is great too if you have kids uh, to reuse if they have characters that they like. You could put Pokemon on there. You could put to Paw Patrol. You could put Tinkerbell. You know, you make a Tinkerbell silhouette and you just pop it on. It doesn't have to be always a distinct. Yeah, you don't have to do like super detailed, sometimes a little, just a silhouette. And yes, you know. exactly. So here I worked on, so I've talked in the past about airbrushing and using um, colors, you know, layering because it's translucent, it could mess up with the color. So here, since I'm using green on top of yellow, well, it works. If you know how like green is made, it's blue and yellow. So it didn't really get um, like what's it didn't the really What's the template called Argyle? Is that called Argyle? The yeah, I think Argyle mm -hmm. has like another line on top. This is just, mm -hmm. oh, okay. Like it has like a, like a check, like, you know what I mean? Like another, so when you're doing a geometric like this kind of thing, like pattern on a shape, I like to try, I mean, you don't have to, but I do myself like to kind of like look here, see there's the point and then try to go straight. You could just slap that sucker on there. It's up to you. But I mean, I'm a little bit, um, I, I wouldn't say that I'm a super finicky decorator, but 
if you want she has, a, she has it aligned with the bottom uh, tip just so you mm. know you know to set, so it's like centered. Mm -hmm. i mean it's not super necessary but so the icing color is gold now americolor sells uh, all their food gels the same as their um airbrush color so that's why i like to use them and so this is gold and now i'm airbrushing in gold and this is optional but all i'm doing is i'm kind of like creating a shadow so i'm just outlining i'm not full on airbrushing and that's the thing with airbrushing you can just kind of like dust so the are, you, are you aiming more on the stencil than on i the am and it's just like okay and it just gives the, you know, it gives it a little bit more, I don't know, like, it's like painted, you know, airbrush mm -hmm. is, is it just another way to apply paint or color and you can just slap it on or you can be more precise. And you can see now when I move it, like just that little bit kind of just creates a little bit of, um, you know, interest instead yeah. of having just this flat color. So I'm going to do another one and we can, I'll try just to uh, slap it on, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just kind of add your, and then you get like another color because I kind of left a, a gap between the diamonds. And so that color is exposed when we put the other one on. So you see, and so I then is this is this your just slap on it's like well you know what i like you can see the, you can see the difference here. <laughs> it's like super center yeah you just can't do it any other way we get it we get it anyway <laughs> you, you know all right so now i'm going to switch out my stencil so this is a two-layer stencil i actually have the eyes in the coffee but i couldn't find them i cut them and then i lost them so you know that's the nature of it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I cut them. Where the heck did they go? But he's not Cindy, gone. If you'd like to tip Amber, you can follow the link on a screen. Just type in your browser. Type what you see on a screen, www.coffee-fi.com forward, forward slash sweet ams. And that will take you to, oh, that will not take you to the shop. You have to click on a shop. Or there's like yeah, a donor so, um, by by Amber Coffee. So you and that's see. so that would just we each have our own individual coffee shop. So you would have right. to go to each different one to give us um a tip. So what what airbrush are you using now? So this is in the supply list that it's on my wireless airbrush. So I've got two actually listed because people have said that it's sold out. So I found two. You want to look for a gun that isn't painted. That, that isn't what? Uh, painted. Some of the airbrush guns are painted. And so it's mm -hmm. difficult to see inside the little cup where the color is. So now I'm resting mm -hmm. my little Yoda. His ears line up with the diamond points, okay? Okay. And, and so he's protected. Like the rest of the yellow is protected. And I'm going to be adding green. So that will show up against that yellow. And then I'm going to be adding green also to the openings there. Okay. So it's, and you can, if you're cutting this yourself, you can take out the Yoda and put whatever you want. I mean, you could put so many other little things that, you know, like little. Louis, Louis we will, we will definitely do a stenciling with real icing. It's a really fun uh, technique. Amber likes it. I'm getting the hang of it. You're getting hang of it. And uh, I think Mar, oh look, she's already airbrushing. Yoda. And I love the reveal part when you take off the, the stencil holder. The stencil holder, it's from uh, Sugar Bell, right? Sweet Sugar Bell? Yeah, so she's got the only one that's adjustable that's on the mm. market. So this one here, you can kind of take it apart and change the sizing. The other ones are whatever it is, it's the shape, you know. Hers is a little bit more, got a little bit more uh, yeah. versatility. And here you can see, so that little base color was protected in both applications so it's like outlined and then there's the yoda that the color kind of like still shows and i have um a moss green that you can come in and like just highlight again a little bit the areas mm -hmm. I'll do this one how, how long would you say it takes to dry like how long before like you did the first layer and then 
you're putting the second layer, do you let, do you allow the first layer to kind of dry a little bit and then do the second layer? Well, it depends how much you put. So like in this case here, this one was just a blush application, like, you know, like barely any color. This dries so quickly, like really fast. So the other one was a bit more color, so it takes a bit longer. Might not, I'm trying to see here or there. So again, and surprising amount of control. Is it not coming out here? I got no color. You have a surprising amount of control. You can go really close and you, you can aim it. Like you don't have to just, you know, you think you're gonna color like a large area. You can get really close and be able to really target the color where you want it. Mm -hmm. Like I could just do these, these diamond areas and skip Yoda, you see? To a degree, oh, yeah. I want to come with a different color there. So Marlin, she owns like six or seven airbrushes. If you have only one airbrush, you will have to clean the airbrush between the layers. Well, it depends on the color because before it was yellow, you could probably get away with just spraying it out and then. Yeah, yeah that's green. true. But it depends on the colors. Like if you're coming in with um, like your first application is black let's say well you're for sure gonna have to wash it or else you're gonna end up with just um like muddy next color yeah okay okay when you are done can you show the can you just lift up the airbrush they were asking what it, what does it look like so this is the airbrush marlon is using and it's listed in her um coffee shop in the supply list and also you have it in your amazon shop it's everywhere she's, yeah she's loving that thing well the thing is is um so the the ones that are plugged are very, like they're good. Just this, you don't have wires everywhere. I do like to have multiple ones running because I'm not constantly running to the sink to wash them out because I do use multiple colors. And so if every time I wash out my airbrush while well, I'm flushing my money down the drain. Talking about washing, Sandra is asking, so if you are using the stencil for different colors, do you wash stencils between uses? Um well, if you're, if it depends if it's beaded, like the color beading on top mm -hmm. of it. If you're doing just like blush application, usually you can last quite a long time without washing. But if you're really doing a heavy like coating, yeah, you might have to wash it. But if you're cutting your own stencils, that's when it's great. You can cut a few and then, you know, if you're making a lot, a lot of cookies, you might want to have a couple of airbrush um, stencils running so that you're not constantly running to the sink. I'm working upside down. Oh, so this, this stencil is available in your coffee shop, right? Yeah, and it's in the cookie school. I put it in the cookie school group. So there it is. So you can just see adding a little bit of shading to it. Mm -hmm. And these, you could also pearl because ties are typically made out of silk. And so you could pearl them up. This one here, I didn't like it, but I'm showing it to you. I used uh, the marker that I've used oh, in the- Oh, I like that, it's cute. Outline. Mm -hmm. uh, I it thought it was- instantly, It instantly made me smile, so. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought it wasn't like the, my favorite. Here is the little t-shirt, and I just wanna show you how easy. So there's the little pocket. I, I sense the magnets coming. No, I'm gonna just do a one wipe. Okay, usually the, you can use magnets to to uh, anchor your stencil. You can, but this is so small, so I'm just putting a little dollop of icing here, That's and easy. then you can see through where the pocket's gonna be. And here is stenciling with real icing. Yeah, oh, really? yeah. Now your icing underneath is dry, correct? Yes, yes. So there's the little pocket, and it's so, so fast. It is so perfect. Mm -hmm. So quick. Yeah, it's really like such a fast way to do it. And, and it's dry almost instantaneously, right? My, is this going to come out? Okay, so Terry has a question. If I buy a stencil that says cut, I assume I need a silhouette or quick. Yes, yeah, silhouette. Marlin and Amber, they both use silhouette um, stencil cutters, correct? Yes, mm -hmm. but you can also, um, Mara, I don't know if you, you do this too, but I put the JPEG or PDF file yeah. of the stencil. Yeah, so that way, if you don't have the cutter, then you can just print it and cut it yourself. Or convert it in Cricut, because Cricut, uh, if you have a silhouette, 
you can do that with the with the JPEG. So that was just like a dot. And now in the wet icing, I'm I'm putting black pearls. So normally I use eight millimeter pearls, or is it four millimeter? Four millimeter. These are even smaller. These are the sweet sugar bell ones, and they're just like a tad smaller. Yeah, it's like a large, almost like a oversized no pearl. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so Did I, I say it wrong. No, no. you I'm have told sure. me that uh, it's not a proper way. Here he is again. I'm just gonna pop his head on. So it's just at the top of the pocket. And you can put anything in a pocket. You could put a little cat, you could put a little puppy, whatever you want, a little snowman at Christmas. Louise is asking, where do you purchase your stencils? And do you use a stencil holder and which one? So maybe you, you wanna talk about how you make your stencils and that you don't purchase them or? Yeah, like I, I design my own just because um, then I'm kind of promoting myself instead of, uh, stencil shops, no, no, uh, you know, hate towards the stencil shops, but I mean, they're not, um, you know, I, I'm going to take care of me first. <laughs> yeah. So all the designs that I, I use are usually mine. Olga is asking, could you airbrush Yoda on top of the pocket? You could, but he's not going to be as dimensional. And so just a little bit different. So this is just a leaf tip and on either side, I'm just basically adding like little leaves coming out of his head. You see, so he's got he's got his little ears sticking out and it just adds to the cuteness. Mm -hmm. And then in the time it took to do these, he's got a little crust going now. So if you want, you can switch back to the other piping tip and put little hands just on top of his head to give him like the look like he's holding on to the edge of the pocket. And with these, you also have the tags available that you made? Yeah, the tags are there. Can be packaged, and the tags are also available in the. I'll just demo the the shop. cutting process. So, where is he? So now I'm just adding his little, two little dots on either side. He's just holding on to the edge of the pocket. You see. So very simple. I got icing on myself. And for the, the shoulders, I like, I, I find that it's less, like it just gives it a little bit more interest if you do your pocket and your um, sleeves in another color. You know, like there's not much going on on this shape. Alicia like, says they're divine. Yoda Yoda t-shirts are in. Mm -hmm. Antoinette, so cute, Mar. And you could do like so many different things, even for like, you know, you could do like a little kitten with pink. It's one of those shapes again that are cute. You did a a, a kit with a t-shirt, didn't you, Amber? Yeah, um, a tie-dye t-shirt. But... Yeah, that's a cute one, and you can get the kit and then reuse the cutter to make mm -hmm. uh, to make Yoda. Yeah, I mean, t-shirt is also a shape that is so versatile. I mean, anything. Right. I cut so, a t-shirt into a baby onesie once. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. You can mm -hmm. you can really like use t-shirts yeah. for anything. Anything goes on a t-shirt. I mean, mm -hmm. look, I have sewn up <laughs> so you can put anything on a t-shirt. So if you Yoda, take Yoda in the pocket, so cute. So I just want to mention. So if you tend to have the bleeding, you could leave a hairline separation between here, like in this type of a situation just don't have the icing connect and that'll save you potentially some issues. So if you don't have a cutting machine, like a silhouette and all that, so here's the tags. And then I, back in the day when I used to sell cookies, I would make the tags and they sell these punches. So this one is exactly two inches and these, these tags are formatted for that. And then you just, you can align it. You see here, so it goes a lot faster than, than you, can, you can get this, get the template for the tags. You can print it yourself. All you have to do is go to Mars shop, simple chat, right? And it's all there. Yeah, you see, and then you take must be with you. a smaller hole punch to make the little hole for you to add your little um, ribbon. And then you can okay. bag your cookies and have the cute little tag to you know, whether you're going to do, um, you know, this or this type of a 
of a situation. It just kind of takes them, you know, if you're going to bag them up to put a little label on them. So that's it. It's adorable. It's wow. This is, uh, I think, the first time in the history of life that we are 10 minutes early. Wow. <laughs> Pop your questions in. We've got time. Yeah. Okay, let's do a quick Q&A. Um, maybe if you have some questions, we can answer. These are adorable. I love them. I love silhouettes on anything. I mean, I just like ballerina silhouettes. Uh, I remember I used to, I did a cameo silhouette. It was like my very first cookie, maybe like, I don't know, 12 years ago. We didn't even talk about alcohol. We did talk about our alcohol. You missed it about the barrel. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't drink it all. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Thank you for watching the video. Oh, you've been watching. She's been watching since she was six years old. How sweet! Thank you. What's your favorite cookie you ever decorated? So that's a question. So, Mar, you go. Um, what's my favorite? It's a funny thing to look back on because, especially when we repost, because we repost our videos, all of us. If you mm -hmm. follow us, you see the same videos kind of come up. It's funny because it's really a, a journey, right? It's like saying, it's like saying, at what age did you love your kids the most? Right. <laughs> well, okay. no, but I just mean like in the moment, yes. in yes. the moment where you're at, you're like, wow, I'm really happy or proud of this. And then, you know, five years later, you look back and you say, oh my God, what was I thinking? So, <laughs> yes. Just like, I was kind of hard. But you, you gotta have like certain ones that like, even like when you maybe you were starting, you remember, oh, okay, this is how I started. It kind of like holds a special place in your heart. Well, or whatever. Make the, not the flamingo, the peacocks that I did for with a live with Amy or what did I do with you guys or with Amy? That one was so well received by people that flamingo uh, and, and not flamingo. Sorry, it's a peacock. And every on a paisley, people were so like positive about it. I remember. It was on the front of uh, Cake Central. I don't know if you guys ever went on that site, Cake Central. I remember, I remember that. I remember that. And everybody was like, oh, my God, about it. I was like, oh, okay. You know, like it was the first time everybody was in such a tizzy about something. So I was like, oh, I guess I did something right. So I guess yeah. that's fine. What about you, uh, Ems? Well, I feel the same. Like, it's whatever one I'm working on now is my favorite. Like, these are my favorite right now. Like, they're... You know? Loving them, yes. I think everybody is the same, kind of same. And we forget what we made. I have to say, mm -hmm. we yes. totally forget. Like over the years, we forget. Oh, I made that. Oh, okay, good. I don't like it now anymore. You know, like we, yeah, we all I think uh, feel the same. But they are. I think the first ones I made, like they're kind of in my memory. But um, yes, the peacock. Yes, you you have done a lot of peacock stuff. You've done the snowflakes. We've done quite a lot of uh, stuff. Also, guys, Mar is having a class tomorrow. So if you haven't signed up, oh, go ahead good. and sign up for Mar's. Is it all sold out? Or there may oh, probably that is just they'll have to be baking through. You know what they're I mean? Probably well. Well, they can watch and just they can, they, they can, you can. You. Well, the thing is, you can um, if you sign up. The recording is available then later, so you don't necessarily have to. Sometimes it's even better to learn to watch without the stress of trying to get it right, and then you can watch at your leisure time and uh, decorate, you know, at your own speed, because then you can pause and, and uh, do things like that. And uh, you can sign up over at Global Belly. Do we have a link here somewhere? Globalbelly.com? I have the picture. Here it is. Okay, so here we go, guys. So go ahead and type this into your browser and um, purchase this class. It's only $35. And you get to see Mar, you get to chat with her, and she's also going to have a host. Yes, I, I love my... I've got my Tuesday partner in crime. Oh, so that's that going to be is. exciting. And um, yeah, it's a bargain. It really is. And you can then gift the cookies to your friends or mm -hmm. you know, your mom, your, your girlfriend, your wife, your, you know, what somebody, right? your yeah. neighbor, your neighbor. Um, the template for Amber, it's hold on here. There it is. That's Amber's uh, coffee shop link. And it's also in the comments somewhere. I posted them 
And on Instagram, do you have it in your bio? Like, you know, yeah. There? Yeah, so, okay. so if you go to my Instagram and then just click the link in my bio, you'll see my link to the templates um, there. So I wanted to answer this, Sandra. So the square device that I brought cookies, you make it so, so fancy. It's really not that fancy. You can, um, you can pick up a, a rod that is like quarter inch thick at your lumber section, try to get untreated wood and you can use it to roll out your cookies. I have um, over the years used uh, paint sticks. I have used rods. I have used plastic uh, rolling guides that come with, um, um, it's a system for rolling cookies. Dough is yeah, a rolling mat system, so which is really great. It's a large silicone mat, like oversized mat, that you can roll out your cookies between two uh, silicone uh, um, mats, which is really great because it eliminates use of extra flour, which can you know make your cookies kind of hard and uh, yeah. not tender. Um, I have all of these listed in my Amazon shop. So if you type Amazon Hanielas, you will you will get to my shop and um, all the tools are listed there. Oh yes. Oh sorry. I was just putting here. This could be something for the future, guys. Um, if we use the same cutter, we've you know. Yes, we yeah. have we have done that actually for for Halloween last year. We've used all used butterfly. Oh to create, right. To create the Halloween cookies. Um, which was kind of challenging, <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun. So we have to definitely revisit that idea. And so, yeah. um, so Amber? Um, I don't have plans to repeat it, but I have um, like a really detailed tutorial um, in my shop on filigree. So it's um, basically what we did in the class, but... Pre-recorded. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that's good too because they, you can pause it and you can kind of keep up if, like, mm -hmm. you know, because obviously she can do it in her sleep. So and she can touch up on the filigree now. If you need the pattern that Amber uses, mm -hmm. you can practice and uh, you can get the template at your shop, right? Yeah. You have a template for your filigree that, yeah. that you drew. It's basically what you do on your cookies. Yeah. But like Mars says, you can do it in your sleep. You literally can do it. Now there's the stencil in the coffee shop. So if you don't want to pipe it, just use the stencil. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So we are, do we have any more questions? I think oh, yeah, you can definitely, uh, Ali, AliExpress, Marlin is a big um, um, advocate for the AliExpress. You love AliExpress. You can find so many different things. So oh, yeah. little guides you can definitely find on AliExpress. Uh, Somebody is asking if you are, Stephanie, uh, if you are still on Crafty, Amber. Yeah, that class still exists on Craftsy. Um, the Craftsy, the company has changed hands a few times, so I haven't really kept up with where the class went. But if you now, if you go to Craftsy.com, it should be there. Yeah, it'll, it'll redirect, it. no doubt. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank and, you. Uh, I don't think we so know. Next week doing we are, next we are doing. Uh, I don't know what we are uh, do. Um, We'll talk about it. <laughs> I think I'm off next week, right? Oh, are you? I'm, I'm looking at you like you're not. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, no, I think I'm off. So it's, uh, you know, well, it's the day, it's the Mother's Day is that weekend or. That weekend. So we will not focus on Mother's Day because it's, little, well, I don't know, I think it's going to be a little too late, too late. So we will focus on something else. Um, we'll figure it out. <laughs> is it Mother's Day next? Ne yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe the following weekend. Mother's Day is the ninth. Mother's Day is every Sunday, okay, folks? So make sure that you feed your mom to breakfast in bed every Sunday from now on. That's that's uh, kind of like, you know, how we roll here. All right, guys. Thank Thanks, you so everybody. much. Have a great class tomorrow, Mark. Yeah, I hope thanks. Have a fun. Bye, guys. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.